What's up guys, it's Mew here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a commentary, and this commentary is going to be over some special awesome classes for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. These classes are mainly for getting lots of kills and pub stomping, getting high kill streaks, blah blah blah, you know what the drill is. So let's get right into it. The first class is going to be the BAL 27 and first, let me just say that this class is mainly going to be, you know, for a stealth, stealth purposes, you know, to get around the map sneakily and stay to the edges of the map, not really get into the heavy mix of things going on in the middle. So it's going to be the Bell 27 with the red dot sight, suppressor, and the stock. So I'll go over the attachments and the gun. So the gun, the Bell 27, arguably the best assault rifle in the game right now. Um, so there's no point not to use it. So it's a great choice for a weapon. Um, the red dot sight, you know, this is one of the best sights in the game. You know, you could go with something like the target enhancer or something like that. But I find that the red dot sight is, you know, just really simple and easy and it works really well. So the red dot sight is a great sight to use. Of course, you could use really anyone you want that you're comfortable with. Uh, the suppressor, like I said, this is a stealth class. So people, the goal is for people not to know where you are. So with the suppressor, obviously you're shooting quieter. And then the stock, the stock is kind of a must have for me because I really like moving around when I'm aiming in fast with an assault rifle. That's what you do. You have the same, you know, move around speed as you were just walking. So that's a, gr a really great perk if you like to strafe a lot when you're shooting and go quicker when you're aiming in. So the stock is a must have for me. Uh, no secondary gun. It's not really necessary for this class. Let's get into the perks. So the first perk is going to be low profile. And what low profile does is it invisible to UAVs, tracking rounds, and exo ping. So this is just a great stealth perk that you can use so that people don't know where you are. Because the UAV in this game, it's a really overpowered thing that people are using. So it's really important that people don't know where you are. So it's great to use low profile, especially with this class. The next perk is going to be cold-blooded, immune to thermal, target enhancer, threat grenade, and enemy callouts. No name or radical color change when targeted. Another great perk for stealth. You know, you're staying away from kill streaks. Um, not kill streaks, actually. Sorry. You're staying away from, you know, things that people can use, like the threat grenade, target enhancer, stuff like that. So basically you just don't show up on the map for people using things like that so that's a great perk to have now for perk three i have perk three greed on and i have toughness and blast suppressor so toughness it's actually a must-have perk in this game if you guys don't know it significantly reduces the amount of recoil you have or flinch when you're getting shot by an enemy so if you're getting into a gunfight with someone and they don't have toughness but you do and you get the first shot off chances are you're going to win that gunfight if you have good aim so it's a very important perk to use now blast suppressor this perk i find it actually to be uh, pretty underrated it's very 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 useful though Blast Suppressor, invisible on minimap when performing EXO moves. So obviously, you know, with the new Call of Duty, everything is based around the EXO suit and how you move around the map. You know, boost jumps, move dodges, stuff like that. All that stuff is invisible on the minimap. If you guys haven't noticed, there's a little ping that goes off every time you use an ability, an EXO ability. So it's really important, especially for this class, that people don't see where your exo, you know, your exo pings are going off or whatever. So that's a really important perk to use. I'm using the exo stim ability. I find that the other ones are kind of useless. Uh, they don't really work too well. Overclock is pretty good, but stim is good. Temporarily generates health beyond normal levels. So that's good if you want to, you know, rush into a hard point or something. If you're, this is for any class really. If you just want to rush into a hard point or something, get some quick kills and not die so fast. Uh, for the XO launcher, I have the frag grenade. It's probably, you know, the best thing you can go with, or maybe the Semtex. But uh, I added some weird grenades in this game, so the frag is probably going to be your best bet. Now the UAV, this is where it gets kind of fun. This is the only score streak I have on. Like I said before, the UAV is extremely overpowered in this game. How uh, you can add on all the extra modules and stuff. So I've added on a ton of modules here. I have three of them. The three I have on are speed support and threat detection so basically what speed does faster position updating to the mini map which is really good so you can see you know where people are quicker and stuff the next thing i have is threat detection this is really really good to have on paints enemies with each sweep of the uav so this is the equivalent of having a threat grenade go off you know for the entire duration of the uav you basically get to see where the 
whole person's body is. It's like the equivalent to, um, I forget what it's called, but it's that thing from a ghost where you could see where the people were moving and stuff. I, I actually forget what it's called. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, the next thing I have is support and support points earned towards this streak retained through death. So that means, you know, even though you're dying, you can build up to your UAV and then go on your streak to try and get that DNA bomb or something like that. Basically, it's self-explanatory support. You die and you can still keep going. Your points don't get lost. And especially when the cost for this is 10,050, really high up there for a UAV. So that's pretty important to have. Now let's move on to the second class. All right. So the second class is going to be this one right here. We're going to be using the IMR and this is going to be a more aggressive type of, um, of assault rifle class because we did have that one the last one we had with the bow 27 which was more stealthy you wanted to stay quiet low profile stuff like that so this is going to be more aggressive assault rifle class so we're using the imr the imr actually i've come to notice that it's kind of an under an underrated why am i stuttering it's kind of an underrated assault rifle that i found it's really good actually it kind of reminds me of the m8a1 except it's a little more weird I guess but it's really good so we'll go over the attachments the attachments I have on this are going to be the foregrip stock and the quick draw grip so the stock you know like I said before it's a must-have for me at least with the assault rifles I just need you know to be able to move fast I don't know maybe it's different for you you could probably add on a different attachment if you wanted but this is what I prefer so the stock is great we went over it before um, move faster while aiming down the sights great thing to use the foregrip is really good because this is going to help you when you're shooting people from a distance and it's going to work e extremely well considering that this weapon is a burst fire four round burst so the grip vertical foregrip for reduced recoil so because it's a four round burst you're not going to be spraying and you're going to be able to control your shots more accurately especially with the foregrip so that's great to have especially with this four round burst weapon and the quick draw grip aim down the sights faster you know that's just to get you know a little advantage if you're uh if your enemies are up close or something like that and you want to aim in real quick so that's good to have too again no secondary weapon not really necessary so let's get on to the perks we got low profile again great perk like i said invisible to uavs tracking rounds and exo ping then we have peripherals we haven't gone over this one yet peripherals increase minimap coverage take out enemies without displaying their death location so peripherals in my opinion is one of the better per perks in this game it just increases the entire minimap so that you can basically see the entire map so you can really see what things are going on you know across the map and where the action's going on really great perk and then we have the same perks from our last um our last class our perk three perks we have toughness and blast suppressor toughness reduce flinch when shot and the blast suppressor invisible on minimap when performing exo moves i think i have this on all my classes maybe not the last one but exo ability we got exo stim again uh increases your health for a little bit and then we have the semtex just to change things up you know the semtex it's pretty good in this game and then we have the uav our one score streak with the same modules, speed, threat detection, and support. So that's the second class we have. All right, guys, so we're on to the last class, and we have an SMG class for you guys. So this is going to be the KF5 with quick draw grip, laser sight, and foregrip. Let's go over it real quickly. So quick draw grip, like we went over before, aim down the sights faster. This is going to be a really fast-paced class. You're going to be jumping all over the map trying to get kills. This is great for hardpoint domination all of these classes are great for the one uh game mode that i really like is ground war you know lots of people to kill uh great great uh game mode especially for all these classes then we have the laser sight the laser sight increased hip fire accuracy it is an smg so you're going to be up close to people a lot you won't have really a much enough time sometimes to aim in that's what the quick draw grip is for if you want to aim in quickly but this is if you can't do that or if you just feel like it'd be safer to hip fire so increase hip fire accuracy just to be safe with that and then we have the foregrip vertical foregrip for reduced recoil so this is just when you're aiming in because this gun does have some you know minor faults with the with the range um, it's pretty good, I guess, because the damage is pretty high, but it is a little bit hard to control. So the foregrip just reduces the recoil. Again, third class, no secondary. So uh, the lightweight, uh, or sorry, perk one, 
we have perk one greed on this and it's going to be lightweight and low profile lightweight is just move faster because we want to be moving around quickly with this uh, with this class as it is an SMG and then we have low profile like we said before invisible the UAVs tracking rounds and exo ping the UAVs mainly just really overpowered in this game so it's good to be safe then we have peripherals and peripherals like we went over before you just want to be able to see the entire map with this class especially since you're going to be running around all over the place and then we have toughness flinched less one shot you know really fast paced class fast paced class so you want to be able to kill people really fast and then move on so this is going to give you a little advantage if people aren't using toughness for exo ability we have exo overclock and this is different exo overclock again a temporary speed boost like i said before this class you're going to be moving around really fast and you just want to get to different places so you can get lots of kills, so it's very good. Then we have the frag, you know, can't go wrong with that. And we have the same score streak, the UAV, with speed, threat detection, and support. So there we go, guys. Those are my three classes that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you decide to use any of these classes and they do well for you, please be sure to leave some feedback in the comments. We would really appreciate it. So anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like comment and subscribe buttons i don't know why i said that's so weird but anyways guys hope you enjoy the video once again and i'll see you guys later